here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation. CP from Knicks Fan TV here on the check-in. Quick stream, quick stream. Tonight's episode, I'm going to talk about Jared Harper. The Knicks have signed Jared Harper, claimed him off of waivers, and in return they have waived Kadeem Allen. Kadeem Allen, who had been on a two-way with the Knicks for the past two years, has been cut, waived, and Jared Harper, who was in the Suns organization, the Suns G League team, uh, was waived in March by the Suns, has been picked up by the Knicks. Uh, Harper was averaging 20 points per game, almost six dimes on 41% shooting for the Suns G League team. Came into the NBA uh, for about three games, and then once the whole COVID-19 situation happened and the league got suspended, his time with the Suns was cut short, and ultimately his tenure with the Suns was cut short. Listen, this kid can, this kid's a scrapper. He can play. I got a chance to see him live at Summer League last summer, um, Knicks versus Suns game, which was the best game of their uh, Summer League tour. And, and this kid gets busy, man. He's only 5'9". He's, he's, he's uh, short, but this kid, he can score. 42.5-inch uh, vertical leap. This kid can get up, and um, he's tough. He, he's a tough player. Got, like I said, I got a chance to see him. Uh, up close, in person, front court at some league. And I also saw him in the NCAA tournament last year as well. Uh, he Auburn had a nice run up to the Elite Eight. And, uh, you know, Jared Harper was, was a big reason for that, man. Very, very um, uh, skillful point guard. Very quick. And, and, and can definitely shoot it, man. This kid's got a lot of heart. So, We'll, we'll see what happens. You know, it, obviously, this is not anything major in terms of the roster or, you know, indicative of who's going to be going on the main roster. This is just, just a kid that they, they're going to want to take a look at uh, for a long term in terms of um, how he fits in the farm and just another asset. So, you know, hey, add him to the stable in the G League along with Kenny Wooten, maybe, and and uh, Iggy. Let's see what happens. And, and on top of the Knicks' future draft picks coming in. So... Um, good pickup, good pickup. This kid's 22 years old. You know, Kadeem Allen, uh, listen, Kadeem played well in stretches. What I liked about Kadeem was that he came ready to play at, at uh, any moment, a moment's notice. He was always prepared, always ready to play, and, and he played hard on both ends. So um, tough to see him go. It's a tough part of the business, but you know, that, that's just how it goes. Kadeem was 27, and obviously the Knicks didn't really see much of a future with him on the team. So Jared Harper is the next man up. Now, there's a bit of a clarification on his contract because uh, earlier it was reported that it was that the Knicks had signed him to a two-way deal, and that's not what happened. He was already signed on a two-way deal by the Suns, so he was cut in March in the middle of that two-way deal. The Knicks picked him up off of waivers. So what it means exactly is um, the Knicks will now have his non-bird rights. The Knicks will have his non-bird right. So that means he's still going to be a restricted free agent in October. But what it means under non-bird rights is that, uh, and this is according to HoopsRumors.com, teams are permitted to sign their own free agents using the non-bird exception for salary starting at 120% of the player's previous salary, 120% of the minimum salary, or the amount of a qualifying offer that they may get as a restricted free agent, whichever of the three is greater. So it just gives the Knicks a bit more flexibility where the cap is concerned and a bit more flexibility in terms of negotiating uh, uh, with with Jared Harper on a, on a more lucrative deal, should they want to. So I would imagine that they're going to want to take a longer look at him, keep him in the in the uh, in the G League. And so um, this this way they pick them up off of waivers and they'll have some flexibility in terms of negotiating with them. So Jared Harper out of Auburn, out of the Phoenix Suns organization, is the newest acquisition of the New York Knicks. And we're going to say goodbye to Kadeem Allen. Thanks for the service. Hey, listen, man, Kadeem played hard. You know, that, that's all you can say. Kadeem played hard. Uh, sometimes some of you guys may say he was, the, he was the best point guard on the roster in certain stretches. And, you know, hey, wasn't really saying much considering how the Knicks played this past season. But like I said, Kadeem showed up. He played ready, certainly played hard. And, and that's all you can really ask for. So let, let's see what uh, Jared Harper can bring to the G League. What happens to Lamar Peters? Don't know. You know what I mean? Don't know. Jamal Lamar Peters is certainly having a uh, excellent G League campaign himself. 
But, hey, that's the nature of the beast, man. It's a competition. You know, it's a doggy dog out there. So these guys got to earn their stripes, earn their minutes, and maybe they earn a, a spot on the roster. But on a, on a two-way deal, you know, maybe this kid gets up uh, sometime next year. So, so to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for you boys. Closing in on 20K, closing in on 20,000 subscribers. So definitely want to uh, shout out everybody that's been supporting. Shout out everybody that's been holding the channel down. Uh, we've been having some some dope episodes. Like I said, check out the Leon Rose front office playlist. Catch up on all the front office acquisitions. Leon Rose, World Wide West, Walt Perrin, the advanced scout. Um, we, we had a show when Ninja P was brought back, when Scott Perry was brought back. The new scouts that they picked up as well. So a lot of content for you guys. Definitely catch up. A lot of special guest appearances that you guys can catch up on those episodes as well. So um, you know, we've been we've been busy cranking out content. Hopefully you guys uh will find some value in it. Let me know what you think. Leave us some comments in the chat as usual. We are about 70 subscribers away from 20k. That's big, man. No basketball going on and and we're still churning. So, uh, like I said, I definitely got to appreciate all the mods for helping us, you know, push all the, the fans for watching, helping us push. And like, like I said, we're just going to keep this movement going, rolling. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it, man. 200 people in the chat so far. This, this is all I really wanted to, to, um, to talk about. Just a, just a quick, um, stream. Gonna go watch some Homeland, chill out, catch up on some TV and whatnot. But let me shout out some people in the chat. Rich Jim, always appreciate it. Always holding us down. My guy Iller up in Canada, always holding us down. Jaden Diaz, appreciate you. Ben Fajardo, appreciate it. Ronald Dennis says, keep doing what you do. You give great information. Appreciate it, Ronald. Pete Cruz in here, appreciate it. Uh, CP the Artist says, most likely people subscribe for me. <laughs> CP the artist, uh, man, that's my guy. He's he's been here for for a long time supporting us, man. And I don't know if you guys caught last night's show. Uh, you had a little exchange, uh, Sergio, Ari, CP the artist. So that was cool, man. We gotta uh, we gotta get a uh, another battle of the fan session going and, and get these guys all uh on the line to get a real debate going but last night was cool man last night was definitely cool i want to shout out marcelo garza checking in from mexico marcelo garza appreciate um the shout out uh who else we got in here we got fallen foes checking in from paris joe collins checking in from t dot toronto canada definitely got a lot of family up there so home away from home for me um, Hospi moved. Hospi was in London and moved to uh BC. Okay, so Hospi's on this side of the globe. So salute to Hospi, man. My guy DJ's man checking in from the seven five seven Hampton. Another home away from home for me. John Talento always in here. Appreciate it. Cedric Lucas. Appreciate it. Who else we got? Man Preet Singh checking in from Jersey City. Worldwide, man. Andre B checking in from Brooklyn. Appreciate it. Uh, v Dino says you gotta look up Harper highlights. Yeah, this kid can ball, man. This kid can ball. Like I said, I was sitting front and center in the summer league watching this game. This was a this was the best game uh, that I was at. And uh, Iggy dropped thirty. This game went into overtime. I was sitting. I was sitting with Flavor Flav. I think some of you y'all might have seen me on ESPN. I was on the ESPN telecast. I was with Flavor Flav, my guy Greg Armstrong, Macri was there, CK2K was there. So we were in there heavy, man. Terry and Trey was in there. It was a great time. Really wish we could we could have done another summer league outing this summer. I was really looking forward to building on what we what we did last summer, but obviously, you know, life happens and and you got to adjust. So once we get back to normal, we will uh, you know, get get it get it in. So yeah, that was uh, Jared Harper. But also, check out his NCAA tournament highlights as well, man. This He's gritty. And the kid has grit. We got Sham BK from Mount Verde, Florida. I believe that's where um, Kevin Knox went to school, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe uh, Kevin Knox uh, or RJ played for that, that high school as well. Uh, we got Nick Pyrek checking in from VA Beach. So to VA Beach in the building. Musa checking in from Nashville. Appreciate it. Coconut Creek. Appreciate it. Uh, who else we got in here? Metaphysical Logic checking in from Dykeman. 
We're down in Orlando working. Some metaphysicals down there working. Be safe down there, man. I'm hearing, you know, COVID situation is, is not looking so good down in Orlando. So definitely be safe and uh, be be safe everywhere, man. Be safe everywhere, wherever you guys are checking in from, man. So uh, once again, salute to my guy, Kadeem Allen. Thanks for your service, man. This this was me and Kadeem at the uh, the open practice, man. Got a chance to chop it up with him for a little bit. Like I said, good kid. Uh, you feel bad that, uh, you know, th these type of things happen in the business. But that's what these guys sign up for, you know. That's what these guys sign up for. So hopefully he can rebound somewhere, maybe Europe or maybe with another team. Another team's G League organization, man. So that is the story, folks. We'll do another, um, let me get my theme music up and running, my outro. I'll catch up again over the weekend with you guys. But um, yeah, like I said, definitely catch up on the previous content. When is the Blockbuster announcement? Hopefully this weekend. Hopefully this weekend. No promises. But hopefully this weekend uh, we'll be back with the blockbuster announcement so let, let's see how that uh let's see how that plays out yeah kadeem kadeem is 28 kadeem is about 27 28 so uh salute to kadeem allen man he played hard both ends of the court i gotta find that hat man i lost that hat i don't know i, I didn't lose it at the open practice but i lost that hat somewhere uh that was the last year's draft hat i like that hat i gotta find it i gotta find it man Leave me a comment in the chat, man. Or whatever you guys want to talk about. Who do you guys want to see on the show next? Who do we got to get on the show next? Some guys have been calling for Starberry to come on the show. See what we can do. See what we can do. Um, I'll keep you posted. But uh, like I said, maybe Sunday we'll, we'll have our announcement on the next guest. And that's going to be a big one for sure. So make sure you guys tune in, lock in. Remember, these shows are available in audio podcast format. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Amazon Alexa, and Stitcher. I want to shout out before I go, Nick Sainis sends us $20 Super Chat. Nick, definitely appreciate the support. Raw Hebrew Remnant, appreciate you, brother, for the $2 Super Chat. And Sima Singh for the $10 Super Chat. Appreciate all the hard work. Appreciate the support, Sima Singh. You're always in here as well, man. So definitely appreciate it. Henny God, we definitely working on that one as well. So stay tuned for that. And, uh... Yeah, man, you guys got a lot of fun, funny comments, man. But you guys be safe. I'm going to go eat some dinner, watch some Homeland, catch up on TV, man. I'll check you guys um, sometime this weekend. Peace.